Hey there, I'm here with another video. This time it's not Tesla related. Um, Chargeman now has an adapter that allows non-Teslas to charge at destination chargers. So I've got this charger right here. I'll just show you the adapter. So what this actually allows you to do is charge your non-Tesla. That is J1772 capable. So that's pretty well every one of them and charge it at a destination charger or like at someone's home that has a Tesla mobile connector or Tesla wall connector, be it either a level one or level two. This does support up to 80 amps, but I don't believe there's any Tesla chargers out there that are capable of that because the wall connector puts out 48 amps and I think that's the max. So it's definitely capable of doing the 48 amps anyway uh let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the box and uh we'll go from there anyway so let's take a look at what's in the box here so you this is a semi-hard container with a zipper and inside you've got this charger right here so i'll just take that out and so we've got a couple of features here i just want to point out to you and then we'll go through it so one is across here, we've got this locking mechanism with a key. Um, I've misplaced my key, so I, I can't show you the locking part, but what that's gonna do is stop the lever from moving. So if I use this J1772 adapter that's for Tesla, so this adapter allows a Tesla to plug into a J1772 and then plug this into their car this one allows you to plug into a Tesla charger and then plug this into your non-Tesla car. So I'll use this as an example. So it will just plug into your car like that. And then this locking mechanism right there wouldn't be able to be opened. So it's just to stop people from unplugging your car. You don't need to use it if you're not gonna go anywhere, but if you were to leave your car overnight and you want to make sure that no one unplugs you, then you could use the locking mechanism. This is the J1772 side that you actually plug into your side. And I just want to point out that inside there, I'm not sure if you'll see that or not, but there's an orange rubber uh, seal that's to prevent water from getting in there. So it's in there as well. And then on this side is where the Tesla plugs into. So I've got my mobile connector here. You're just gonna plug that in like that. And then when you're finished, you can just unplug it. Now it does have a locking mechanism as well, uh, non-keyed. So what it does is it, it locks into the pin underneath that all Teslas have. So all we do is just put this in like that and then we turn it upside down and then there's this uh, locking mechanism that you can put into the locked position. So that uh, is in the locked position right now. And what that does is it makes it so you can't unplug it. And when your car is plugged into your, or when this is plugged into your car, it's actually on the bottom. So no one would even know it's there. So they, if someone were to come to your car and you've got this piece locked and you've got the bottom part locked, they would, pull on it and go, well, I don't know how to get it unplugged. But in reality, all you need to do is unlock that piece right there, and then it comes off. So that's the uh, features of it. I kind of like the nice blue, it looks pretty good. It does have these ridges, so it kind of, it's easy to hold. Um, it's got some weight to it, so it feels like quality. And the next thing we'll have to do is just take it out on the field and see what it will do so there's a art naps down by my place that we're going to test out my buddy's 2022 kia ev6 um, i know that i got 10 kilowatts on my tesla so i'm assuming he'll get 10 kilowatts on his as well because it was actually pushing out 48 amps so that's this is it so again let's just compare the size so this is a Tesla adapter that comes with all Teslas. And this is the Tesla to J1772 adapter. And then there, there is an adapter that Tesla has. What this allows you to do is plug in a CCS. 
onto here and then plug this into your car for fast charging. And so it, it's a it's still smaller than that and this is actually a smaller one than the actual one that comes from Tesla. Anyway, let's go ahead and give it a test. So here we go, we're just plugging that in. So then all you do is just plug that in. Yeah. So we'll plug that in and then just plug it into the car. Here we go. And so we'll see if it starts charging. I heard a click in the charger and it looks like it's charging. So let's go see what it's charging at. So yeah, look at that, we're getting 9.9 .9 kilowatts, that's pretty good. Okay, so we've got a lock right here, but with the EV6, it's actually locked back there, so you can't unlock it here. And then that lock that I mentioned previously is under here is the Tesla lock. You just move that here, so you can see right now it's locked and we can't unlock it. So the, the way that you unlock this with the Kia EV6 is you unlock the car and then it's unlocked and then you you just can pull that out right like that so that's really cool and then that lock underneath there is when you would unplug it so we're going to just try this again because there was some situations where people have said that they didn't get a starting of a charge right away so we'll just go ahead is it okay if I just plug this in? Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug this in. And then we'll just watch. Oh, I heard a click in the in the uh, Tesla charger. And there we go. It's charging again. And I'm sure if I go look inside, we're probably at about 10. So yeah, there we are. We're at 10 kilowatts. So this, uh, so uh, yeah, so this charger works really well, or this uh, adapter. If you have a Kia EV6, it's well worth the $150 to have that in your car and uh, just have that freedom to know you can charge at a uh, Tesla destination charger. So here are my final thoughts on this adapter from Charger Man. Um, it does give uh, it works really well. It's easy to use. Uh, it worked no problem on my buddy's Kia EV6. Uh, so would I recommend purchasing something like this? I'd say like if you're going on road trips and you can't charge exclusively at home, this does give you options and you could just carry this in your car. And if you need it, you've got it. And if you don't need it, well, you still got it. Anyway, I think it's a pretty good adapter. Um, it does benefit non-Tesla users. It does give open up some charging options for them. So if they're traveling and they go to a hotel, um, they may be able to charge uh, where they couldn't before. And it's such a small package. As you can see, you can just put this in your center console or in the back with your in your trunk. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I'll put a link in the description for this charger uh, for those that are interested. And other than that, I think, uh, yeah, I, I really do like this one. I think this really does open up the charging opportunities for non-Tesla drivers. The infrastructure out there right now uh, is just not there for those, those people, but there's a lot of Tesla chargers out there. One thing I just wanna note though, this does not work with a Tesla supercharger. So if you try plugging this into a Tesla supercharger, uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. So that's just one thing that I wanna point out. I hope you liked uh, this video. I know it's not Tesla related, but it is EV charging related. And I really wanna get other people out there using EVs. So uh, thanks for watching.